Now here is something that you don't breathe in, so it must be better, wasn't it? Well, unfortunately not. In England, Scotland and Wales, while it's not illegal for someone between the ages of 5 and 17 to drink alcohol at home or on a private premises, the UK Chief Medical Office advised that an alcohol-free childhood is the healthiest and best option. If you're under 18, it's against the law for someone to sell you alcohol, to buy or try to buy alcohol, and for an adult to buy or try to buy alcohol for you. You can also be stopped, fined or arrested by police for drinking alcohol in public. This is bad news as getting a criminal record could affect your job prospects and make it more difficult to travel to some countries like the USA. That said, if you're 16 or under, you may be able to go to a pub or premises primarily used to sell alcohol if you are accompanied by an adult. It's best to check first though, as it's not straightforward. Things are also a bit tricky if you're 16 or 17 years old. At this age, you can drink beer, wine or cider with a meal at a licensed premises if you're accompanied by an adult, but you can't be the one buying the alcohol. You can also serve alcohol if you work in a licensed bar, restaurant or shop if the license holder or bar manager has approved the sale. But beware, local authorities may enforce certain restrictions such as only being able to sell alcohol in sealed containers. The laws are stricter in Northern Ireland, but you can buy and drink alcohol legally in licensed premises everywhere in Britain when you're 18 years old. However, a lot of shops operate a scheme called Challenge 21, where if you look under 21 or 25 in some places and don't have proof of your age, they will refuse to serve you alcohol. This may all sound rather harsh. After all, alcohol is a natural product that is made when grains and fruit are fermented. But alcohol is a depressant, which means it slows the functions of the nervous system, blocking some of the messages trying to get into the brain. In very small quantities, alcohol can help a person feel more relaxed or less anxious, but in larger quantities, it leads to intoxication, altering a person's perceptions, emotions, movement, vision and hearing. Think becoming very talkative or aggressive, feeling hazy, slurred speech and swaying when walking. Reaction times also slow down significantly, which is why drinking and driving is such a bad idea. When even larger quantities are consumed in a short space of time, the body becomes poisoned by the alcohol. The first thing that happens is violent vomiting, but it then gets worse with the possibility of unconsciousness, difficulty breathing, fitting and death. Finally, drinking large amounts of alcohol over a long period of time increases the risk of cancer, stroke, heart disease, liver disease and damage to your brain and nervous system. Certain this could never be you? Well, in England, in the last four weeks, 500,000 young people aged between 11 and 15 have been drunk, and each year, 1,000 of them are admitted to hospital because of this. But surely, being a little merry never hurt anyone. Well, far from it, and young people are at a greater risk of alcohol-related harm than adults. Wondering why? Well, as the brain keeps developing into your mid-twenties, drinking alcohol in your teens can greatly increase the risk of damage to this crucial organ. Drinking when young is associated with development of an alcohol use problem in later life too. Did you know that an individual who begins drinking as a young teen is four times more likely to develop alcohol dependence than someone who waits until adulthood to use alcohol? Remember, alcohol is addictive. Misuse it as a young person and you are more likely to suffer from side effects including appetite changes, weight loss, eczema, headaches and sleep disturbance. Your memory and ability to perform well is affected too, particularly if you binge drink. Think studying and making the grade at school, achieving in competitive sports and managing your asthma well. Having bad breath and being hungover after a night out certainly isn't fun, but you could also put yourself at serious risk when you drink. For starters, injuries increase. We're talking burns, falls, drownings and car crashes. Plus, you're more likely to have unsafe sex. Really? Yeah. Almost one in 10 boys and around one in eight girls aged 15 to 16 find themselves in this situation after drinking alcohol. Resulting pregnancies and sexually transmitted diseases change or even end lives. Drinking also increases the risk of getting into trouble. Think fighting, causing harm, even committing serious crime. You're more likely to misuse other drugs too and there's a greater risk of suicide. 
Alcohol can make you look really stupid. Drinking may seem cool, but do you really want pictures of yourself doing embarrassing things such as throwing up or urinating in public posted on social media? Worried now about what happened last night? Then it's probably not a great time to learn that alcohol now causes more deaths than heroin, speed, cocaine, ecstasy and cannabis combined. (laughs) 